We're learning new details this morning about yesterday's deadly crash in New York City that killed a Michigan teenager. The driver who plowed through crowds of people in Times Square yesterday has been charged with murder. The New York Police Department says 26 year old Richard Rojas drove the wrong way through crowds of people in Times Square on Thursday. Several law enforcement sources say Rojas told police he was high on drugs and heard voices in his head telling him to hurt people as he was taken into custody. Police say Rojas was acting out of control. Initial tests came back negative for alcohol but positive for drugs. Officers believe Rojas was high on synthetic marijuana, also known as K2. Authorities say Rojas is a Navy veteran with a criminal history, including an impaired driving charge. 22 people were injured in the crash. 18 year old Larissa Esman of Portage, Michigan was the only person killed. This morning we're learning more about Alyssa Elsman, who friends describe as smart, caring and talented. Rebecca Russell has more. We heard the vehicle coming up fast. I heard people screaming. Witnesses in Times Square describing the aftermath of that deadly crash on Thursday. Gravel was flying everywhere. I got hit by a piece. Uh, the car landed sideways. Uh, I saw a gentleman underneath the car and another gentleman was pulling him out and it was a real mess. The woman killed in the crash, Portage Central High School graduate Alyssa Elsman. The 18 year old was in New York City with family, including her 13 year old sister Ava, also injured in the crash. It's almost trite to say it's a shock, but that's the only word I can come up with. I mean, when I first heard about the crash, I was obviously sad to hear about the crash. And then within a half an hour, when families reached out to let me know and let me know it was Alyssa, um, it was crushing. I mean, it feels like I'm sort of living through a nightmare. The Portage community and people from around the globe mourning Alyssa's loss, posting thoughts, prayers, and condolences on her Facebook page. I'm still in shock right now. I still don't want to believe it. I'm praying for her and her family and, you know, uh, just, just prevail through this. And it's, you know, it's going to get really tough, but... You know, just be strong through it. Those who knew her say Alyssa was smart, caring, funny, and talented. She was thoughtful, um, really compassionate, um, bright. Um, she's one of those young ladies that, that if you didn't know her, you would perceive she was quiet and reserved. But as soon as you could spend just even a few minutes with her, she was engaging um, and she was funny. She was a very good person, very good person. Um, she was always, you know, trying to look out for other people as well as herself. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio also offering his words of condolences for the Ellsman family in wake of tragedy. We all feel deeply right now for those who were injured and for their families and particularly for the family of the young woman who was lost. Our prayers are with her family and with all those who right now are suffering because of this horrible incident.